There are two types of issues in this world, ones that can be solved and ones that can't. The second type is beyond our control, but the first type can be fixed. In fact, a lot of solvable issues are issues we created ourselves. Can we touch all these buttons? No touching buttons. I don't fire! That bad! Bad fire! That fire go away! Today, I will be giving a presentation about electric cars, how they can change our lives, and how they can change the world. As you all know, almost every car on the road today runs by burning gasoline. Gas and a lot of other fossil fuels used to both power cars and to make the gasoline are not only harmful to the environment, but also expensive to harvest and mix, making the overall price of gas pretty high for consumers. Another perspective to look at is the oil. One of the main fossil fuels to make gasoline is non-renewable, which means that once all of it is used up, there won't be any more for a very long time. And even if we find an alternative for it, it won't be the same. Who here likes barbecue? Many people of the future might not be able to experience the efficacy of barbecue chicken or ribs, or anything of the sort. Think about it this way. There are double the amount of cars on the road today as opposed to last year, which was double the amount as opposed to the year before that. That means that we are burning more and more fuel every year. I won't even try to count how many liters of that could have gone towards barbecue. There are some disadvantages with driving electric cars but they don't have as much of a long-term effect as gasoline-powered cars do. Electric cars run on batteries that don't last as long as a tank of gas, but are better on the environment than the fumes the gasoline creates. And even though it doesn't last long, it could still last a pretty long time. You can drive all the way to Cuba and back on a fully charged battery. <laughs> and trust me, it may seem like being green takes too much green, but it doesn't. After purchasing an electric car and having a charging kit installed in your home, refueling your car for the most part will be fairly inexpensive. Plus, there has already been $80 million invested in recharging stations in just Ontario, so you'll probably never run out of juice. And 25% of those stations are free. I don't know about you, but I never heard anyone talk about free gas. Also, Popular electric cars like the Nissan Leaf have integrated solar panels for even more energy. Even Mother Nature is giving us free fuel. Sure beats acid rain, or getting burned to death by global warming. Please stop burning! Nothing else burns! Finally, let's talk about the safety of each fuel source. Sure, you could get burned by both gasoline and a battery, but nobody is foolish enough to light a battery on fire by accident. Oh god. Even if a baby found a car battery, it's just too big to eat. Car batteries cannot fit in a baby's mouth. But, if a baby grabs your jerry can, then you're in trouble. Also, batteries are only really dangerous if you can do damage to them. Most electric car power cells are built under the floorboards of the car, so a baby couldn't get to it if it tried. Also, if you drink gas, you'll die. End of story. Now, I could go on for hours and tell you every last bit of information you could possibly learn about the benefits of the electric car, but I'm pretty sure that Miss Watt has a limit on uh, how long I need to present for. Plus, I probably already bored you senseless, and now all you want to do is abort and go play COD. So, before you lose all consciousness, let me leave you with one last thing. The next time you see the price of an electric car, remember that once you pay for it, plus some of those minor maintenance costs like snow tires, etc. You'll hardly have to put a cent towards driving costs and can now drive past Esso with a grin on your face knowing that you'll never have to put a penny towards gas again just because of your decision to help the environment. Thank you for listening and I hope you've enjoyed my presentation. Oh God, why did you keep me?